Okay, hey, strong tackles. Uh, your skill base, the skills you need to have to do, are all having to do with blocking. Surprise. But um, with your blocking, here's where we need to start. You may never, ever, ever hold. We can do a lot of things really well, but holding penalties will be one of those little things that will stop us along our way. Now, here are the blocks that I need you to be able to do. These are kind of in their order of importance. First block is the stovepipe. Now, remember when we do the stovepipe? We do the stovepipe when we're running outside for our um, rocket play. For example, this guy goes wide, and we pitch the ball to him wide. For that, we need you getting up onto a linebacker. The tight end will block onto the end man on the line of scrimmage. The wing will go out wide. For you, we need you to go flat and fast. Remember that? And turn up into the stovepipe looking to catch linebackers going across. So stovepipe is your number one block. Second block we need you to be able to do is we need you to be able to do a down block. If we're running 6GO, which means the ball carrier is going to go right here over the tight end, you have to block down while the guard kicks out. And by blocking down, we mean step with your inside foot, only six inches, head goes in front of the man, and you have got to drive him down after stopping his penetration. Elmwood was a really good experience for us because those kids just got in a three-point stance and they penetrated as fast as they could. Head in front, low level, drive him down. Um, third block you need to be able to do. You have to be able to run the circle. Now, that means when we run our crisscross play and we get down block, down block, down block, the guard kicks out and you've got to do that little grapevine step to keep your shoulders square and we need you getting right up into the alley. So you've got to be able to run the circle. Odd looking. Uh, don't be too fooled by the colors. This was our first practice of the season, which was our midnight practice. We practiced at a uh, local athletic field and brought in some construction lights and started practice at midnight, which was the earliest time we were allowed to practice for the season. So that explains the weird glare. Now, here's what's going to happen on this drill. This tackle is going to practice our skip turn, and this tackle is going to practice our step down and turn back. Don't worry about this guy too much. But what I want you to watch with this tackle is I want you to watch his footwork. I'd like you to watch that he karaoke's so that his left foot steps behind his right foot, and that allows him to keep his shoulder square as he turns up into the imaginary hole and he looks in doing what we call run the circle. Now watch, this should be clear. Ready, hunt. Okay, I'm going to stop it here. Watch his feet. Left foot behind. That's his karaoke movement. That causes him to skip which moves him into an area to insert into the hole. Look at his shoulders. His shoulders are nice north and south, and that's going to put him in a perfect position to turn inside to take on that linebacker. Let's watch it full speed. You've got to be able to pass block as well. I'm going to have to talk over the vacuum cleaner. Now remember how our pass blocking rules work for you. You're always going to have the second man from the center over. 
So wherever that second guy lines up, probably going to be lined up right about here. He's yours. So we have to be able to step and post to block him out, and you're going to get help from that tight end. Finally, last block I need you to be able to do. It's your favorite. I need you to be able to wedge. So you will probably be wedge at four, the focal point of our wedge. But if the man lines up here, we get a double team. If the man lines up on you, we're going to get a triple team. If there's nobody in your gap and nobody on you, you shoot straight ahead. And everybody's going to wedge up on you. So my strong tackle, let's remember, you're never, ever allowed to hold. But the four blocks I need you to be able to do, well, five blocks, stove pipe, down block, run the circle, pass block, and wedge. Master those five and we're golden.